morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Lillian Amirian. And I'm Liam Kane. Today is Friday, April 12th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Every year, Seminole Ridge holds a prom for the upperclassmen, and nominations for prom court are closing today. WSRH reporter Hadali Rodriguez has more on the story. I am here with Mr. Holchub for prom court nominations. So, Mr. Holchub, how do you nominate? Uh, if, you, if you'd like to nominate, you have to be a senior, and you can go to the SGA classroom, or your senior teacher should have posted on their Google Classroom a form, uh, a Google form that you can fill out to nominate. And where do you nominate? Uh, you can go on the Google form, fill that out, and uh, you can actually uh, type in names uh, for the first round of voting. When's the deadline? Uh, the deadline for the first round of voting will be today at 3 o'clock. Will there be a second round of voting? Yeah, so once we calculate the results, uh, we'll narrow it down to the top 10 of each, uh, boys and girls, and then next week we'll do the same thing where they'll be able to vote on the, the top 10. Are tickets still on sale? Yes, tickets are still on sale. Uh, you can purchase them during the lunch hours, uh, which we'll have today, and then we'll have next Thursday and Friday also. Just be sure you have a signed contract. Good luck to everyone. This is WSRH News. I'm Idali Attention all upperclassmen. This year's prom is coming up soon, and tickets are on sale now. Tickets are being sold during both A and B lunch on Thursdays and Fridays. You must have a signed contract to purchase tickets, which are $125 for upperclassmen and $140 for underclassmen and guests. Attention seniors, there will be an informational grad bash meeting on April 12th in the auditorium. April 17th in the auditorium during the third period from 9.45 to 10.30. Only seniors who have paid and are, going to, and are going to attend must attend the meeting. Please email Ms. Vassilotti at kristen.vassilotti at palmbeachschools.org if you have any questions. Seniors, are you interested in making more senior memories? RSVP to attend Seminole Ridge's special senior dinner. There are posters all around campus with a QR code you can scan, or you can see Ms. Vassilotti in room 6203 to sign up, completely free of, of cost. The dinner will be held in the cafeteria on Wednesday, May 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. Can't wait to see you there. Yesterday was opening night for this year's musical. We continue to wear pink as our theater program has three more shows, one today and two on Saturday. Their 2024 production of Mean Girls, any people attending are recommended to wear pink. WS Race News reporter Anaya McMinns has more on the story. Last night was opening night for the Mean Girls musical. I'm here with Riley and Kaden to talk about how it went. So, how was opening night? Opening night was pretty good. Honestly, I was really happy with how it went for me and the rest of the cast, and I think we all had a lot of fun. Yes, everyone did amazing. We love you all. What was your favorite part? Um, personally, my favorite part was when I got hit by a bus. Uh, that was that was pretty fun. I liked jumping in the shopping cart. <laughs> my favorite part is riding this scooter <laughs> with <laughs> Ava on stage. It's so funny, and we got those like really last minute, so it's just... Yeah, it's fun. It it's is. a fun scene. How do you think the rest of the shows are going to go? I think they're actually going to go very well. We have an amazing two casts, and I think everyone is going to be amazing and so fetch. <laughs> yes, we're going to be awesome. Break legs tonight, Diva Pink, and yeah. You got have it. Fun. Break legs. Good luck, Cox. For WSRC News, I'm Anonymous the Greens. The premiere is coming, and you're invited. The Seminole Ridge Television Production Academy is proud to present our 19th annual premiere student video showcase on May 7th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Why go? It's a cheap date. It's only $10. Plus, you'll get a chance to see our best short films, commercials, public service announcements, music videos, feature stories, and more. Tickets will go on sale next week, and you can buy your tickets from any TV production student or from Mr. Wright in room 4102. On Friday, April 19th, the Black Student Union will be holding a talent show, which is open for all students, faculty, and staff. Students need to present a student ID upon entry into the talent show. Performances will start at 6 p.m., and tickets are $5. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Wright. Are you interested in taking dual enrollment? College algebra on campus next year? Make sure you meet the following requirements. To determine eligibility, you must have a maintained GPA of 3.0 or above, have an SAT score of 490 in both reading slash writing and math, and a PSAT score of a 24 in reading and writing, and a 24.5 in math. 
then you must apply to Palm Beach State College. For more information, contact Mrs. Wallace and join the Google Classroom using the code HV4XRBS. A question club is having a meeting today, April 12th, right after school in Miss Roka's room, 6206. If you're interested in horses, please join the Google Classroom code 4DDUYH6 and come join the meeting. First Priority will be having a meeting today after school in Mr. Moya's room, 9103. Come on by for some games, community, and a student-led devotional. Florida being home of the Gators, we sure do love our Crocs. And what do you do with our Crocs? We bedazzle them. SGA is ho hosting a gibbet sale all through next week. WSRH News reporter Bella Savoya has more on the story. Today I'm here with Mr. Crimmins to talk about the gibbet sales. So Mr. Crimmins, what are the gibbets? So gibbets are those little like attachments you can put on Crocs. So like they're all like various designs. I've seen some like, you know, french fries like burgers or you know like hawks or anything really. When are they on sale? They are on sale next week. Um, we're selling them for one dollar. We might have some like surprise ones in store that we aren't really like telling anybody. And where can you get them? Anyone can find them in the cafeteria. You'll see any kid with SGA shirts on. They're like, I think, purple. Um, they'll be walking around to lunch. Um, they'll have them on them, and you just pay a dollar and you get one from them. Okay, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Bella Savoy. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. Hey, bro. You want to hit this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, dude, it's safe. Don't you trust me? Well, if you say so. Wanna hit of this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, bro, don't you trust me? <laughs> well, if you say so. The chemicals found in jewels and other e-cigarettes contain the same harmful metals like lead that are present in gasoline. Visit www.thetruth.com for more information on the harmful effects of vaping. Hey, Lily, I wrote a play about weather and I casted five people to play clouds, but six showed up. Okay, what's the problem? It was a total overcast. <laughs> Let's go to WSA's meteorologist Ryan Hansen with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. For today's weather forecast, we have a high of 83, a low of 57 with sunny skies. And looking at our three-day forecast, on Saturday, we have a high of 80, a low of 56 with sunny skies. On Sunday, we have a high of 81, a low of 60 with sunny skies. And on Monday, we have a high of 83, a low of 63 with sunny skies. Well, that's it for WSH weather. I'm Ryan Hansen. We have a happy birthday going out to DeAndre Brown, Zane Gordon, Zing Lin, Kevin Gonzalez, Thomas Grosso, and Rudmeyer Joseph. Happy birthday. Deputy State Sports Anchor Mason Contessa joins us now at the Sports Desk. Good morning, Hawks. We got a lot of sports to talk about, so let's get right into it. Our varsity flag football team, led by Captains Angelina Sanchez and Gisela Negron, pulled out a 12 to nothing victory over Wellington last night to win the district championship. Congrats, Hawks. WS3 sports photojournalist Jefferson Lopez has the highlights. Coach O'Hara and the flag football team are feeling great after their big win and are excited for their upcoming regional championship game. WSRA sports reporter Haven Berryhill has more on the story. Today I'm here with Coach O'Hara to talk about last night's district championship game against Wellington. So Coach O'Hara, 
How did the game go? Uh, the game went very well. Uh, we played Wellington, as you said, and uh, won a tough uh, 12 to nothing victory, and uh, the girls really played well. What were some of the big plays? Uh, we had a couple huge touchdowns, um, again, going into the win, really windy last night, so that was a factor. So a couple big plays near the end zone. Uh, we didn't score until uh, the second half, so uh, it was great to score when we did and then put the pressure on them going into the fourth quarter. How was the energy throughout the game? Uh, the girls uh, just all energized and played fantastic and uh, just ready to play, so it was great to see all 15 players really contributed and did a great job. What was the score at the halftime? Uh, halftime was 0-0 and uh, really close, hard-fought game, but, uh, but our girls persevered in the second half. How do you think you guys will do in the regional games? Uh, all the teams in our area are really tough, so uh, we'll have our hands full, but uh, you know, I really feel like we have a great group of 15 super players, and uh, I think we have a great chance against anybody when we play our game. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSR 2's, I'm Haven Berryhill. Our beach volleyball team took on Royal Palm Beach yesterday. They put up a good fight, but unfortunately lost after five sets. Our boys volleyball team took on Dwyer last night and swept them three sets to none. Great win, Hawks. Our girls lacrosse team played Wellington last night for their district quarterfinals. Unfortunately, our Hawks fell just short, losing six to five. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, boys lacrosse district quarterfinals at Palm Beach Central at seven, Varsity Softball versus Ox Ridge at home at 6.30. Varsity base Baseball at Garcia at 6.30. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WS3 Sports. I'm Mason Contessa. Well, that's it for WS3 News. I'm Liam Kane. And I'm Lillian Amirian. Remember that you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.